And may I tell you, if you know your scripture, everything, every crime in the world possible to man is described in the Bible openly. There isn't a crime, you name it, that is not described in the Bible openly. Man goes through them. He doesn't have to. He can discriminate and not fall into one if he knows their states. But you sit down and you listen to a certain story. A man who is prejudiced and he poisons your mind. And you fall into that state and accept his prejudiced mind. And then you're going to pay the price of that prejudice. Eventually you will. You don't have to accept it. You go into a restaurant. You don't say, bring me what the chef wants to get rid of tonight. Bring me a menu. And then you order. Maybe he only has that one order that you want. No one else wants it, but you want it. I go into a restaurant back in New York City a few years ago. It was early, I grant you. It was only 11 in the morning, but I had no breakfast. It was brunch. And I took some friends into the Hilton Hotel. And I went to this bourbon room. Well, it was Sunday, and I don't dress up on Sunday. I went in with an open shirt. Well, New York hasn't quite caught on to California when it comes to wear. And so the head waiter, all stuffy, and he said, what up? And this very, very heavy accent. Well, I have an accent too, so I couldn't criticize him. But here he is with this very, very heavy accent, and he's criticizing my appearance because I had on a jacket, yes. But my shirt was open at the neck. And I'm taking five people in to brunch. So I, all right, so I buttoned up the collar and he got, gave me a table off the wing, not to be seen by those who were coming with ties and shirts. <coughs> and then I said, all right, I want clams. The waiter, when the waiter took my order, clams. I said, yes, I want clams. I don't want bacon and eggs, and I don't want the usual breakfast that you think you're going to serve everyone. I want clams for breakfast. Bring me clams. So he delayed and delayed, and finally he bought the clams. And I said, come back here, please. This isn't charity. I'm paying for it. Bring me, I want some horseradish, and I want a little Tabasco sauce. He reluctantly, he goes and he gets that. But that's what I wanted. I'm paying for it. Well, in life, do the same thing. You just don't go in and say, throw me a tie. You select one, maybe a hundred. A silly little thing that you put around your neck. But you still want one tie, and you want to pick it up. The same thing is true of these states. Don't let anyone poison you and throw you into a state, because you're going to pay the price of that state. We're only moving through states. But they are a permanent, fixed number of states. And the Bible records them. Every character in that Bible is a state. 